everyone, so welcome to a slightly different type of video. Um, basically, as you can probably tell from my face, I've been crying a lot recently. And because I've been crying a lot recently, it means I've had to perfect the art of touching up my makeup when I've been crying. So I thought I would show you how I'm doing that today. How I fix my makeup after I've been crying. So. The number one thing you are going to need is cotton wool pads, not, not cotton wool pads, cotton wool buds and makeup remover. Luckily I appear to have cried off all my foundation so that's all looking okay. Oh, it's kind of caked around my dry patch. As you can see my makeup is all kind of like collected in my inner corner so I'm going to use some makeup remover first of all and just... Make it worse before it makes before it gets better basically, people. Ooh, just tipped it everywhere. And just clean up the inner corner a little bit. Like so, and then clean up the outer corner. like so and then I'm going to grab oh my god my nose is so snotty yeah like, guess why Amelia because you've been crying that's why we've done that I'm going to go into my makeup bag and I'm going to find my concealer which is the makeup uh, no the collection lasting perfection concealer I'm basically just going to retouch it in the inner corners mostly And then I'm going to grab a brush to blend that with in the in the corners just because it's a bit more easy access. Um, I think that's all okay in the outer corners. And then I'm just going to go in with some powder just to set that in place again. So that hopefully the next time we cry it lasts a bit longer. That's not my powder brush, that is. Like so. So then for this eyelid bit here, I'm going to take the Morphe 35O palette, which is the palette I've got on my eyes today, and I'm going to take my lid colour, which is the bright champagne one here. And when I find it, in my makeup bag, I'm going to take my shader brush and that colour on it, which is, the colour, which is the brush I used to apply it this morning. I'm just going to go in and retouch it in that inner corner there. Kind of cover up that mistake or the smudge and do the same on the other side. And now I'm going to go back in with my eyeliner and just go over it. And there you go. And while that's not completely perfect, it's something. And then I'm going to go in again with my little tapered crease brush and just redefine my under eye colour. To take away from how black and smudgy it is. And then I'm going to go in and put it in my inner corner. Where my inner corner brush is going. With that same bright champagne colour as before. And then after that you can touch up your mascara, uh, your corner eyeliner. This, I have actually perfected the art of crying and not ruining this. Um, it's something I perfected during my time at sixth form, so I'm pretty good at doing that. All I know is to never cry lying down sideways, so I never do that. I always sit up when I cry because then the tears fall straight down. 
I shouldn't know this much about crying with makeup on. And I'm also going to take my lipstick off because it looks a bit weird now. Um, so I'm going to take that off to the best of my ability without smudging pink all over my face. Not working very well, evidently. Just have to go in with the smudge it around everywhere approach in the end. And our face looks pretty normal again. It looks a little bit puffy under the eyes. Um, you could always use like a cooling uh, ball type eye gel thing that Simple does. I left mine at home so I don't have that anymore, but it was a godsend when I used to cry a lot more than I do now. Um, which was actually a time, by the way, when I actually used to cry more than I do now, which is weird to think about. Um, and that's basically how I fix my makeup after I've been crying a lot. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this stupid little video, and I'll see you in the next one, pretty much. Last couple of tips from the genius is to put some glasses on to hide the puffiness of your eye, and pots my be to get rid of the crying headache, because I'm sure I'm not the only one that gets the crying headache, am I? I'm also wondering why on earth I'm still single. <laughs>